It's an issue she's always been passionate about. Even when she left the Guam legislature, she urged her colleagues to take up the torch for people with disabilities. I lost this election, but I gained a snapshot of four years of opportunity to represent what is needed by individuals. For former Senator Dr. Aline Yamashita, helping people with disabilities wasn't just a campaign promise, but it's been a lifelong commitment. You see her son Eric is autistic. He's been through the DOE system and is now gainfully employed. First of all, these kids didn't ask to be born. Secondly, they certainly did not ask to be autistic. That was, that's not something people ask for. And so they are born, and they are born with that diversity. When the former senator, who is also a former DOE deputy superintendent, first saw the recent videos of the interaction between a special needs high school student and his one-to-one -one aide, she was heartbroken and infuriated. Clearly what you saw in the two clips was a person who spent most of his time, if not all of, yeah, most of his time on his phone. And so, you know, it's why was the student expected to keep sitting? What was the purpose? And even though it was 40 seconds or 30 seconds, um, adolescents, uh, adults, young kids, you know, we stand, we sit. I, I'm not sure why, what the control issue was. It concerned me that there were other adults in the room because you can hear them. Mm -hmm. And how did, was that just a common occurrence so that nobody really thought anything of it? Um, I was concerned of the students who were recording it because you can hear them. Oh my God, oh my God, look, she's, he's pushing her down. Oh my God, oh my God. But yet there was no attempt to go over and say, hey man, don't do that. Or can you stop it? The videos, now the focus of an investigation by DOE leadership, has provoked the former senator to speak up to continue to advocate change and accountability. Where was the training? Where was the expectations? Where is the monitoring? Where is the accountability? Because no matter if that child was misbehaving, Sabrina, there is no way that a student should be handled like that. According to the job announcement on DOE's website, all it takes to be a one-to-one -one school aid is a high school diploma. No experience or training is required. It's really unfair to take a person with a high school diploma and then assign them to somebody with autism or OCD and say, have a great day. Sounds like your baby. You're babysitting. Yeah. Yeah. That's it's unfair. <laughs> it's unfair to do that. These are the same qualifications that have been in place even when Dr. Yamashita was at DOE. She says it's clear professional development is needed for all DOE staff, along with systemic improvements to meet special education needs. But as for this particular case, Yamashita prays for the family and is confident the acting superintendent will get to the bottom of. What I, I know what she's going through. Um, I hope that. Uh, Chris Anderson, who's current acting superintendent. Uh, I know Chris. I, I'm a believer in Chris, and I know he understands it's about the student and his soul. I know that he remembers that it's about them as human beings. In middle of all the rules and regulations and processes, these kids have a soul.